Houston, I'll leave with the, the question I just asked Manny. Have you been around a defensive coordinator that really coaches defense to be as simple as he does? No, I've never been around a coach like Coach Diaz. Uh, he's coming here, and the job that he's done is uh, outstanding. Um, you know, I've been in college football. It's my fifth year having a coach like him, and uh, the c complexities as he brings and makes it simple for us to do. Um, you know, we have to execute the plan, but he makes the plan, and that's why we're successful. So I have to get all the credit to him and all the defensive uh, coaches. They do a wonderful job. Just in the film you've seen, what are some of the challenges you've seen from uh, UAB's uh, offense? Um, they run the ball, and uh, I think, you know, from what they saw last week, we did give up a few rushing yards, more than we wanted to, for sure. Um, they're going to try to pound the rock, and uh, we're going to have to stop it. We're, uh, we're going to do a better job of that this week, though. We, our D-line, uh, yesterday in the film room watching Western Kentucky run over us a little bit, we, uh, we got together and said, this is not going to happen again. It's not acceptable. It's not playing our standard like Coach Diaz wants us to. So we're uh, going to band together this week and make sure it doesn't happen. On the flip side, Coach Giles, is, throughout his career, has been known for, for coaching DNs. Have you, have you been around a coach like him? No, not at all. Um, like I said, I got to give credit to Coach Holtz and uh, his wife for bringing me in here and uh, giving me an opportunity to lead this team and be a part of something so special. Uh, it's the best decision I've made in my life to, up to this point, and uh, I really don't think I've been around a coaching staff like the one that I have around me right now. And Coach Giles he does a great job of preparing us, uh, getting to play and buy in all the players and band together. And, it's not a fight, you know. Um, I've been around people that, you know, it's a fight to have to get them to do the right thing or, you know, the little things, go to a class or, you know, eat the right food, go to sleep. It's, it's not like that here. You know, everybody wants the same goal and everybody has the same, you know, desire to be great. And it's really nice not having to fight people to do the right thing. You may have heard me ask Coach Holtz about the ultimate dream is winning that conference championship and going to the bowl game. I know you guys talk about that when y'all are together. Um, talk to me about the spirit with, behind that talk. Um, well, I think the guys know that to get there, you have to win one game at a time. And uh, that's the mentality that we have. Coach Diaz and Coach Holtz, you know, instill that in us week in and week out. And, you know, bowl games are great, and we're going to have an opportunity to go on. I have full faith in that. But right now is uh, UAB. And, to get to a bowl game, you got to beat these teams. To get to conference championship, you got to beat all your conference opponents, and that's what we're worried about right now. You said UAB is going to run the rock. When you look at Jordan, whatever his last, I can't remember his name, but the running back, whenever you see yeah. him on tape, what stands out to you about him? Uh, he keeps his feet moving, you know, and tackling a guy that keeps his feet moving and going through the hole is, you know, not an easy task, especially being 230 pounds or however big he is. Um, it's going to be a, a tough job, but we're going to have to get, you know, hats to the ball and everybody rallying around. And once we do that, uh, I think we can stop them. You talked about everyone doing the right thing and paying attention to the fine details and stuff like that. Looking back now, we're a month and so removed from it. How, I guess how much of a learning experience, maybe it was a shock value, was the Northwestern State game to this team to make sure they did the little things right that's maybe paying dividends off now during this winning streak? Um, Man, it's funny you bring that up. It, it, it still hurts a little bit right now, losing that one. But at the same time, on the positive side, I think it humbled us big time. Um, I think we needed that going into the conference race and uh, winning and doing what we're doing right now. And it brought a lot of guys back to earth a little bit, you know, that maybe we're not as good as we thought, but we can be great. And I think that, that game, losing how we did, uh, it shocked a bunch of guys, but it humbled us. And uh, I think... It's going to pay dividends for us later on down the road.